Hello everyone and welcome back to Cronus Play Zero Escaped Virtue's Last Reward. Today, we're choosing allies because who the hell would betray Luna? But if she betrays me, I swear to God, I will never trust another person again. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Whoa! Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Luna, <laughs> you better not, girl. Results from round two of the Ambidex game. If she betrays me, it's because displayed. Sigma was like, not smooth at all when he was explaining why he was going to choose Ally, even if he was being honest. Please direct your attention. Not Max Tromstadt at all. Okay. Well, oh god damn, you gave Quark 9? Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Am I with 10 now? Thank you, Sigma. No need to thank me. I just did what I promised I'd do. Anyways, thank you too. It's nothing. I also just did what I promised to do. Now we both have seven BP. This is the home stretch. Yeah, it is. I hope we'll get to pair up in the next round too. Because I'll choose ally? Yeah, you're an opponent I can trust. If we were partners, you could pick whatever you wanted then, couldn't you? I mean, you'd get nine points either way. Oh, hold on there. Why would I suddenly choose Betray? You, I've already chosen Ally right. twice. So let's choose Ally and get the hell out of here together. Sound good? Okay. Come on, why do you look so sad? It's just, there's a part of me that just can't feel genuinely happy about that. Oh, you mean Alice. Yes. We still haven't found Quark either. That too. And he has nine points, so we're kind of screwed. Still, Quark's BP is nine now. Technically, he's one. Why did you do that? Why did you tell me all that stuff for? Were you just lying? No. Everything I told you was the truth. You have to trust me. I did! Look where it got me! How could you do that? You're such a jerk! How could I betray you after that? And then you... you... I'm sorry. Are you... zero? What? No, of course I'm not zero. Then how could you know all that? Where did you find out about that stuff? I told you, I... Don't lie to me! I'm not lying. I mean, she turned around and trusted him very quickly. <laughs> For someone who said she was gonna get revenge on everyone. Forget it! It was stupid to trust you. I mean, there's no way. Clover, this isn't about me. I... I made a mistake. I got someone involved on in all this when I shouldn't have. I... You mean Quark? Yeah. You did this to get Quark's BP up to nine? Yes. But you've only got four points. Yeah, and now Quark can leave and we can all die, you asshole. I'm not important. The only thing that matters is that Quark gets out of this nightmare. Hell no! The only thing important is that I get out of this nightmare. Hey, where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to look for Quark. Hey, wait! Ten didn't respond, just turned and walked off towards the magenta door. Clover started to follow, then pulled up short. Oh. She spun on her heel and headed off towards the cyan door instead. Oh, we haven't found other doors, have we? What just happened? I thought Clover had said she didn't trust any of us anymore. Yeah, apparently Ten told her something that made her trust her. Yeah, I know. But then she chose chooses Ally. Ten must have said something to her before the last round started, but what? 
Come to think of it, didn't you choose Ally too? Yes, I did. Phi put herself in a situation where choosing Betray would be unwise. If she had chosen Betray, Dio would have 9 BP now. I concluded that her desire to avoid that outcome would be stronger than her desire to protect herself with Betray. And so, I voted accordingly. That was her guarantee? Yes. I mean, Dio would have ran for that door and opened it. There's no doubt about that. Hell, I probably would do the same thing. But let's just say Dio seems like a bigger asshole than me. And why didn't she... Why didn't you choose Betray? You could be walking out here with nine points right it's now. It's because you promised, right? <laughs> yes, that too, I suppose. It was another reason? Yes. What was it? It's difficult to explain. I suppose you could say I felt a connection. You have a crush on Fi? What do you mean by that? Well, when we were investigating the pantry together, I felt that Fi was somehow similar to me. Something in me said, don't betray her. You could call it intuition, I suppose. Cut it out. Gut feelings <laughs> are bullshit. Fi. Besides, you don't get to have a connection with me unless I give you permission. Uh, I don't think that's and how that I works. I don't remember doing that. You're acting like we're pals or something. Kind of skeeves me out, to be honest. What the hell, man? He did a favor, and now you're gonna give him shit for it? You chose Ally, too. Didn't you do that because you trusted him? Not exactly. I just made him trust me. When we were in the pantry, I stuffed my face like an idiot. That got him to lower his guard. What? Do you really think that would be enough to convince him? I mean, if you were wrong, then he could have escaped and left you behind. What are you getting at? Well, I'm just thinking that maybe you felt some kind of connection to him, too. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to feel a connection for a guy whose face I haven't even seen? You tell me. You're the one with the connection. Shut up. <laughs> um, if we could uh, change the subject, where did Dio go? Yeah, that's a good question. He must have been here for the results. Oh, I saw him leave. Oh my god, I already know what's gonna happen. He's going to get Alice's bracelet, isn't he? He checked the results. Should have stabbed him! Door. So, where did he go? Suddenly, the warehouse was filled with this, the groan and clang of metal doors grinding shut. The Ambidex gates have closed. Sweet. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. What does that mean? Star keys are required. Oh, right, to yeah. Open the gates. <laughs> That's what you mean. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. Oh. As many times as we want, huh? Then that means... As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. Okay. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. So we can repeat the game once every 45 minutes or so. Oh, that's right. What? Remember what Zero Jr. said? No. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too. Oh yeah. What are your bracelets, guys? Looks like um, magenta pair. Me too. Damn it. Looks like we're pairing up again. Better than getting stuck with Dio, I guess. That's true. Oh, unless Dio is magenta solo. I'm a yellow pair. What about you, Luna? I'm a solo, but I'm green. Boo! Wait, yes. green? Hold on a minute. Were the colors for the first game red, green, and blue? And we used those colors to open magenta, yellow, and cyan doors? Yes, that's right. Then the next round we had mag magenta, yellow, and cyan bracelets and opened the red, green, and blue doors, right? Yes. But this time we got a magenta and yellow pair, but also a green solo. What color door are we supposed to open? And where are they? 
Well, we need to check the other bracelets before we make any decisions. We should have taken Alice's. That means Dio, Tenmyoji, and Clover. And Quark. <laughs> we'll need to check Alice's bracelet, too. We should have grabbed Anyone that. Just pick it up. Ten now. bucks Dio took it. I will try and find the remaining people and their bracelets. Quark will be my first priority. I'll come with you. Very well. I'll go check on Alice's bracelet then. It's not gonna be there. And don't forget to, um, retrieve it. We should have taken it when we were there. We're likely needed to get through the chromatic doors. I know. Right. Sigma, can you come with me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's go. I'm gonna have to see her again. I feel sick just thinking about it. Shouldn't we decide on a time to meet up? Just in case? Let's see. When do the doors open? One hour and 21 minutes. We still got quite a while. One hour and 21 minutes. Then let's take half of that. What do you say we all meet back here in 40 minutes? <laughs> Sounds good. Kay and Luna step through the magenta door and out of the warehouse. Hey, you don't, uh, you don't think Kay's the killer, do you? Maybe. Maybe. But if he is, then Luna's in danger. Maybe. Damn it, Fi! You don't want to talk. I didn't see you stopping her. Well, yeah, but I'm inconsiderate. I just had this gut feeling that I could trust him. A gut feeling, huh? Sure you are not the one who's feeling a connection to our armored friend? I mean, all that plating is pretty flattering to his figure. That's not are it. Are you sure? Yeah. Have you considered that it might be Luna? No, that's not possible. Why not? Because Luna didn't need a knife to kill Alice. When we played the last round, Alice's BP was 1. Luna was playing against the two of us. All she had to do was, uh, was convince us to vote ally, and she could, betray could have killed Alice easily. She would have just had to pick Betray. Exactly. But if she'd done that, do you really think the rest of us would have let her get away with it? We'd probably have tied her up or locked her away or something. Probably should tie Dio up. Besides... There's no way in hell Alice would have chosen ally. The only way to get an ally vote from your pair would have been to physically overpower Alice. Or trick her like I did with Dio. So what? You're saying Luna's the killer? No, I'm not. I'm just saying the possibility exists. Even if she was, I don't think we'd need to worry about Kay's safety. He's got a full suit of armor. Yeah. I'm betting he's pretty hard to kill with all that on. Well, we did find a key that might be able to, like, take that armor off. All right, I think that's enough of that. Sure. Let's go check Alice's bracelet. It's not gonna be there. Wow, I was screaming on taking it last time. But no! You, you really went out of your way there, huh? Game. Clover! Hey, hey, come on, don't run away! Well, it sure looked like you were trying to get away from us. I wasn't running away, though I just don't want to talk to you. That's understandable. I have a minus charm stat. Isn't that pretty much the same thing? Look, running away isn't going to do any good. Did you steal Alice's bracelet? Don't you want to find out who killed Alice? Well, you're not going to be able to figure that out unless you talk to people. I don't need to. Why not? I already figured out who did it. Who was it? I can't tell you. Why? Why not? You might be working with them. Both of you could be in on it. Oh, come on. Of course we're not. Forget about it. There's no point. It doesn't matter what you tell her. She's never going to believe you. Just tell us one thing, Clover. How did you know who it was? I noticed something. And what was that? Alice figured it out too. Before she... What was it? Why don't you figure that out yourself? No, you can help us, Clover! Anyway, I gotta go. Hey, wait, Clover! She just locks us in here. Oh, that would suck. Well, there she goes. Ah, uh, shit. What's wrong? I forgot to ask Clover what color bracelet oh. is now. Really? That's it? Calm down. She's a cyan pear. You saw it? Yeah. Snuck a peek at it when she ran by. And it looks like Alice's is a blue solo. The, the bracelet's still here? Holy shit. Take it. 
She reached down and casually picked up Alice's bracelet off the floor. I'll hold on to this. Yeah, good idea. I wonder what it was that Clover noticed. Mm, what Alice noticed. Were you even listening? Fine. What did Alice notice? Fine didn't answer. Should we take the knife so we can stab Dio? Instead, she knelt down and began to examine Alice's body. What are you doing? I'm investigating. What are you investigating? What does it look like I'm investigating? I'm looking for any clues to what she figured out before she died. That she should have wore like a Kevlar vest? Huh. Found something already. Or maybe an actually like filled in necklace so she couldn't get stabbed in the heart? Have a look. Fee, uh, Fi held something out. It was a handkerchief stained with reddish br uh, stained reddish brown. Is that blood? Looks like it. It's darker than Alice's, so it's probably been on her since before she died. If that's not her, it's whose blood is it? The old lady? Maybe. Do you think Alice killed her? Who knows? She could have just found this somewhere for all we know. Hmm. And you think she figured out something... Or should you think she figured something out from this handkerchief? Can't say for sure, but it's definitely a possibility. So, time we moved on. We need to figure out what Tenmyoji and Dio's bracelets have changed to. What the hell was that? Was that in game? That was a weird sound. And we need to find Quark. Yeah. That takes the blue door. Oh, let's take the blue door then. We should be able to get to the room that 10 Quark Clover went to that Sounds way. Sounds good. We should take the knife. We should take the knife so we can stab you, stab, stab, stab. No? Okay. So one of these routes is going to be when we betray people, huh? I'm not going to like betraying Luna. <laughs> That's going to make me feel like a giant scumbag. Oh, it's one of those... Right, pulley lever thingies. A dead? I don't know if they're called deads in this one. It says... Rec Room. This is the only door that's unlocked. Yeah. So this is where Tenmyoji's team went. I'm gonna open it, alright? How many times do I have to tell you? You don't need to keep asking permission. Okay, okay. But I'm gonna open it, alright? The Rec Room. Is the music supposed to sound a little distorted? Ten! I'm guessing from your face that Cork is still missing. No sign of him, huh? Happy. What? I'm asking if you're happy Cork's still missing. No, of course not. Why would I be? Then does it hurt? Huh? Are you so terrified about whether or not he's safe that it feels like someone's got your chest in a vice? I'm more terrified that he's gonna leave and, like, screw all of us. <laughs> I didn't think so. Quark's got 9 BP. If I find him first, I might make him escape. So we should stab you. So it's better for you if I haven't found him yet. Am I wrong? Ten, what's going on here? This doesn't sound like you. I know you're worried about Quark, just, but... what the hell do you know? He's all I've got left. If something happens to him, I'll... I'll... Ten. It's all my fault. Sure. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I, I never should have brought him here. What do you mean, brought him here? Did you say brought? Zero made me an offer. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I thought you said you and Cork were abducted like the rest of you us. You you came here voluntarily? Hey, answer me! What the hell is going on here? Can I see the other side of your bracelets? No? Why? Please. Just... Just do it? Sure. Vi and I looked at one another. Neither of us knew what was going on, but there was one reason... No reason to refuse. We shrugged and did as, what, uh, did as we'd been told. Then suddenly... Ah! 
In the blink of an eye, Ten had pulled some kind of can from his pocket and sprayed both of our wrists with it. Hey! What the hell, man? Calm down. It's not going to hurt you. It sounded like Phi was hurt. Is this some kind of chemical? Yeah. I found it when I was searching this room. He walked towards the door and flipped the light switch. Um... Good work. It's dark now. Whose hand is that? Show me your bracelets again. Hmm. <laughs> that stuff you sprayed us with was luminol, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How'd you figure that out? Because you want to see if there's blood there. Just when you turned off the light. Isn't that the stuff that you use on cop shows to find blood and other yeah. stuff? Why'd you spray us? To see if there's blood. Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. What? Neither one of you is Zero Senior. Yeah? Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? Yep. Uh, someone mind explaining this to me? Well, you know as much as I do now. I was just making guesses based on what he was doing. You trying to see if we stabbed anyone recently? Hey, Ten. Sorry, but I've got to go. I need to go look for Quark. No. I'm sorry, but I can't let that happen. Uh, you dropped the real bomb back there, and I'm not about to just ignore it. Uh, what do you mean by when you said that Zero made you an offer? Why are you here? I can't tell you. Why not? I don't really understand how, but you seem to have decided that neither of us is Zero Senior, right? Yeah. Then why? You don't get it. I can't tell you no matter who you are. Right now, we might as well assume Quark is a hostage. Zero Junior seems to be aware of everything that goes on here. If I tell you, he'll know. And then God only knows what Zero Senior will do. Please, I'm asking, put yourself in my shoes. I looked at him in the eyes for the first time since we'd entered the room and saw nothing but years of loneliness and regret. Relatable. But I could before I could speak, he turned and left the room. This is why we take the knife with us. Hey, uh, can I ask you a question? It won't do you any good. Whatever you want to know, I don't know anything about it. No, it's not about what just happened. Yeah? <clears throat> then what is it? Oh. I see. You mean his bracelet, right? Chill, man. He's a red solo. I had a look while he was talking. Oh. Good job. That, uh, wasn't what I wanted to ask either. Well, what is it then? When he sprayed us, you, uh, you screamed, didn't you? No. <laughs> yeah, 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 you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I actually thought you were, like, in pain. No, I'm pretty sure you did. Not quite so tough when you're scared, huh? Shut up. <laughs> got stuff to do. Get going. Move. Yeah. I thought that's why I thought, like, you were in pain. But no, you were just scared. This is fine. I mean, if an old man sprayed me with fluid, I'd probably scream in two. Wouldn't be just scared, though. I'd probably be actually like, mad as well. Why are those doors white? This... It looks like another warehouse. Guess there's one on this floor, too, then. Makes sense. I guessed as much when I saw the map. Yeah. Uh, are we going through the white doors then? Memento more. Unis Anis. If the ninth line ate the sun. Probably more graffiti. There was one on floor A too, remember? Yeah, there was, but. Never mind that. There's someone else here. Is that Dio? Looks like it. Let's go see what he's up to. What are you doing here, Dio? Uh, nothing. I'm just going with the flow, you know? Looking for protein? See life takes me. You don't seem to have any interest in searching for Quark. Why would I? Do we even know he's really missing? Maybe the little shit's just off having nap time somewhere. Or, you know, escaping. But I figure, let sleeping dogs lie, right? Or kids, in this case, I guess. If we wake him up, he might realize he's got enough BP to blow this popsicle stand and ditch us. I mean, yeah. If that happens. It's all over. We'll be stuck in here for the rest of our lives. Which probably won't be that long. Well, no, there's like years of food and water, right? We could live here kind of comfortably, yeah? The rest of our lives. Yeah, 
Did I stutter? Or did you just forget? Zero Junior told us, remember? The number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. Yeah, but like this, there's, there's like a bunch of food here and water. Those for good, huh? I have to admit, I'm kind of forgotten that detail, but if Zero Jr. had been telling the truth, we wouldn't be able to get out until we died. Hell, even that might not be enough. Maybe they just leave our corpses there to rot. My stomach did a little flip. So, what are you guys here for? Did you bring Fi here so I can kill her? What? Oh, really? You already forgot your little stunt earlier? I mean, you could try, but I'm pretty sure both of us take it. damn lucky Kate chose ally. If he hadn't, he'd be hanging from that crane right now. Hmm. Sounds like you're getting a little desperate. Word of advice, Dio. That's not a smart attitude to have here. All you'll do is make sure that whoever plays against you in the AB game won't pick ally. You talk as if I give a fuck. I already know I won't be up against you two. <laughs> Why not? Kay and I are the yellow pair. You guys are the magenta pair, right? Two pairs can't go through the same chromatic door. Simple enough for you. Sure. How do you know our colors? Kay told me. He was here a while ago. Speaking of which, Temioji and Clover were here too. Guess everybody misses my company. Anyway, that's how I know what everyone's colors are. <laughs> was Kay by himself? <laughs> what about Luna? Luna? I haven't seen her. Oh no! <laughs> I see. Anyway, Kay and I won't be pairing with you two. We'll be taking the blue solo. <laughs> that's that's Alice's bracelet. But how did you know that? Oh, come on. Really that thick? Look at the doors in front of you. These are the next chromatic doors. So the next color is white. Bingo. See that thing next to the door there? What if? Looks familiar, doesn't it? We don't give him the solo. We just hide it somewhere. Then they can't go through the doors. Yes. Yes, it does. I get it. You and Kay are both yellow. You can get yellow by adding red and green together. If you add blue to that... It becomes white. Exactly. You get magenta by adding red and blue together. And then adding green to that gives you white. So that means fine, I would need to pair up with the uh, green solo, which is Luna. Right. That means the other three would be in the same team as before. Ten, Clover, and Quark. We know that Ten's a red solo and Clover's a cyan pair, so... The only so... one left is the other cyan pair. Which is So we can Quark. assume that's what Quark is. Could there be any other combinations? No. There's only one option this time. So it's like Highlander. All we gotta do now is wait for these white doors to open. We only have five minutes left before it's time to meet up with everybody else. So we should get back to floor A. Sorry, but I'm gonna stay here. Moving around so much is a pain in the ass. Yeah, no, I kinda agree with you there. Nobody invited you. Come on, Fi. Right. On my way. Fi, lose that blue solo. Hide it somewhere that only us will know. Yeah, we gotta take the elevator. Can't really skip this, huh? See, now I just feel like you're padding time. Which you don't need to do. Because there's so many routes in this game, this is still gonna take a while to do. <laughs> what a design choice. Lounge. Let's get our crunk on Fi. Dots. Dots. Huh. Summon up. Why'd you just stop? Well, you see that clock over there? The one that looks like the sun? Yeah. It reminded me of something we saw earlier. The The clock? You mean the clock we saw earlier in the game? The one that we fixed because this was the first room we came into? What do you mean? Remember the graffiti on floor B? You remember what it said? Uh... If the ninth lion ate the sun. Do you know what that means? Uh... 
and like we all die. It's Latin for something like be aware of death. Yeah, something like that. Or remember death, yes. I think it's usually used by we are all going to die someday. So don't forget about your own mortality. What about the other part? Who is honest? Uh, well, I mean, that's all pretty straightforward, right? If the ninth lion ate the sun, man, would he have heartburn. Oh, I get it. That's what the clock made you think of, right? The sun in the, that yeah. sentence. Did you notice anything strange about that graffiti? It was uh, blood? Apart from the fact that it made no sense? Not really. Huh. Wrong answer. Maybe you're not the eagle eye I thought you were. I guess I have to do everything. Part of it was spelled wrong. You're asking the wrong person on that Specifically, one. Specifically, they spelled ninth wrong. I knew that. It should be N-I-N-T-H. But the graffiti had N-I-N-E-T-H. Oh. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, let's put an extra E in there. Exactly. That's kind of a boneheaded mistake. I never made a mistake like that. You think it was like a kid who wrote it? Oh, Quark? How'd you get up Maybe there? Maybe it wasn't a mistake at all. I'm not following. Maybe Zero put that E in there on purpose. But why? Maybe because he didn't have enough letters otherwise. Is it a haiku? Uh, what? Anyway... If Zero wrote that graffiti, then it's got to be significant. Remember death. If the ninth ate, uh, li a ninth line ate the sun. I mean, you definitely know death if you ate the sun. Shit. Hey, it's already two minutes past time. We're late. We should get moving. Sure. Right. Uh, I could just cut him out. I could just cut him out and post. Anyone else dead? Luna, don't be dead, please. Huh. Kay and Luna aren't here. Astute observation. Thanks. What should we do? What do you mean, what should we do? All we can do is wait. Rock, paper, scissors? We don't want to end up missing each other by accident. Yeah. Guess you get a point. Hey, where are you going? Just want to check something really quick. Uh, check what? Is what Al Alice was checking out earlier? The last time we saw Alice alive, she was right here. Remember? She was kneeling down, looking at something on the ground. Yeah. What do you think she was looking at? Huh. Find something? Blood. Isn't this blood? Uh -huh. Nice work there, Sigma. I don't need you to pat me on my back. You, you can, though. It's fine. It makes me feel stupid or something, but it also kind of fills me with pride. The truth hurts. Hmm. So, blood, huh? Oh, Dots? my God. Oh, my God. Fi suddenly looked up at the ceiling. I followed her gaze and found myself looking up at the ceiling uh, metal crane. It was kind of, it was the kind you might see in the shipyard, the sort that moves along the metal track and has a claw to grab and lift cargo containers, or kind of like those claw game things at arcades. So, let's deal with that crane. What? Damn, gone again. Stop running around. Just tell me what you found. I noticed something. Oh yeah? And what, pray tell, what was the that? same thing Clover and Alice noticed. That's Arg? Can you just tell me? Look at the number six AB room. The side that's facing the wall has blood on it. Yeah? It's the first thing you think of when you hear blood. Snack time? Vampires? Yeah. This whole thing kind of sucks, right? Come on! <laughs> This is no time to be screwing around. It's always time to be screwing around. I'm talking about this thing. The handkerchief Alice had. There's some blood on it that we assume belonged to the old lady. Yeah? Consider this for a moment. 
Let's say this thing was on the floor next to the rightmost AB room. We'll assume that the blood on the side facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Okay, then what? I don't know. <laughs> Alice was looking at the handkerchief. Right. What do you think was going through her mind? Or like, wow, there's blood here. Why is there blood, a blood-stained handkerchief here? Or something like along those lines? And? Did this belong to the old woman? It must have. And? But if it did, then who put it here? Or wait, maybe someone just dropped it or they could have thrown it here? And? You want more? You're almost there. Ah, how long has this handkerchief been here? Something like that. Yes, exactly. So how long do you think it was here? Well, I imagine it wasn't here for, from the start. Wait, when's the start? You know, when we started. When you and I escaped from the AV room, though, through the hatch on the roof. The first thing we did after we got out and met everyone except for Clover and Kay was go look for the number nine door. We spent a lot of time examining the AV rooms, too. Yeah, I know we looked at this from this ex exact angle. I'm pretty sure there wasn't any handkerchief there, then. There wasn't. Or was there? Wait! Huh. Finally figured it out, huh? Did they move? They moved, yes. Okay. So... What the hell's that black shadow behind the things? Is that like a hole in the wall? No way. Who was in the first one? The AB move, uh, AB room moved. Yeah. Was it that crane? Probably. Yeah? They moved the rightmost one all the way to the left. So, what was in the leftmost AB room? A dead body. Yeah, her. The body of the old woman. And who was trapped in there when the nonary game started? Well, it would have been the AB room on the right at first, so... Luna. Luna, no! <laughs> For the third time, Fi walked off without saying anything, because she's kind of rude like that. My body felt like lead, but I forced myself to follow her. She stopped in front of the graffiti that began two milkmen. What do you think this is? I don't know, strawberry jam? I thought it was just paint from the graffiti at first, but I'm guessing you don't think so. Is this more of the old woman's blood? Seems like it. That's a lot of blood! So Luna would have killed her here, then taken her to the rightmost AB room. After that, she would have move the room with the body in it so that no one would suspect her. That would mean the first person to get out was Luna, not Alice. So, what about the handkerchief? This thing? Here, look. You see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was. The Which knife? This might have been wrapped around whatever was used to kill the old woman. So maybe Luna wrapped the weapon with this handkerchief. And then... Threw it between the rightmost room and the one next to it. Then, when the room was moved, it came out. That means Alice picked up the weapon along with the handkerchief. Seems pretty likely. This is all just speculation, understand? There are a whole lot of things we still don't know. Yeah! Yeah, it's a mystery, all right. For example, why would Luna leave the AB room, murder the old woman, and then carry the body back and hide it in the same room? I guess it's possible she just wanted to hide the body, but we still don't have any idea why she would have wanted the killer in the first place. It's also worth noting that Zero Genius seems to have let all this slide. He's supposed to be making sure the game goes according to plan, but so far there have been two murders and he hasn't done anything about either of them. Do you think that means Luna is Zero Senior? Even if she was, though, I'm not sure why she would kill the old woman. It's possible that she was some kind of intruder who wasn't supposed to be here, but... If Luna senior, is here a senior, couldn't she have found a better place to hide the body? She'd have to access the entire facility. That's not all, either. Let's say Luna moved the AB room to divert suspicion away from herself. If that's the case, why did she leave the handkerchief and the weapon there? She had to have known they'd be discovered after she moved the room. 
Besides, when and how did she operate that crate? Luna was with us since we first got out of the AB room all the way till we found the old lady's body. You, me, and her went through the detector door and investigated the lounge. Then we went down to floor B together, came back to the warehouse. By then, the room must have been moved. Of course! Ha! Why didn't I see that sooner? Luna has an alibi! She couldn't have moved the AB room! We're her alibi! Interesting. I have to admit, you've got a point. Wait, what? You didn't even put up a fight. You're going to make me repeat myself. I never said Luna was the killer. Still, I have a feeling Alice thought she was. Clover's gonna kill Luna! We gotta stop Which her! I mean that Clover probably does too. Oh, you mean the stuff she said about what she noticed? Right. Hey, Fi. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to get a real bad feeling about this. We were supposed to meet the others 20 minutes ago, and there's no one You're here. Right. Sigma. Oh, no. Special K, are you going to tell me what I think you're about to tell me? <sighs> I guess we'll just have to find out next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, or any of my videos, I can check out some of the content, see if it's your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. We all have a great day.